Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Lift Lesby WL. Today I have a haul for you guys from IMAT. So of course this is from IMAT Toronto. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am from Toronto, so it is from IMAT Toronto, which just passed this weekend so I did grab a bunch of stuff and I just wanted to share it with you guys so let's just go ahead and get straight into it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please make sure to click that thumbs up button because it would mean so so much to me and maybe even subscribe saying that let's just get straight into it okay guys so the first place I did stop at was of course Morphe let me tell you the line was so huge people literally everyone that was there literally went to Morphe first so uh the first thing I got was obviously the 35O palette I'm so excited that I grabbed this palette so I'm gonna quickly show you guys how it does look for those of you who've never seen it it's a beautiful palette so pigmented so of course it looks like the Morphe palettes like all my Morphe palettes do and then inside the colors are gorgeous so it's mixed with mattes and shimmers and as you can see there's like just a lot of warm toned shades there are some cool toned shades as well and it has lots of oranges beiges gold browns literally me I love it and I have a little surprise for you guys <laughs> I didn't want to show you guys this till later when uh like I don't want to say too much but as you guys know I had like a little uh, issue on snapchat <laughs> which I'm really embarrassed about now but a lot of you guys were so supportive and so sweet and you guys made me feel so loved and appreciated so I wanted to kind of give you guys a sneak peek right now but basically I did grab another one for you guys. I will be giving this away in a future giveaway really, really soon. I just want to accumulate some stuff so I can give it away. But I do have one just for you guys as well. I wanted to say thank you guys so much because you guys are so awesome. You guys make me feel so special and you make me feel like all the hard work I do is actually actually like mean something and like just the messages all of you guys gave me that day was just so sweet and I really, really wanted to say thank you guys so much because it meant a lot. So saying that, I do have one for you guys, yay! Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys the other stuff I got. So then the next thing I got from Morphe was of course a bajillion brushes. So I'll just go through the brushes. I mainly got eyeshadow brushes because that's what I needed. This is the M504. I didn't make like a list of brushes I wanted before I went. I just kind of went and chose brushes that I kind of wanted. So this is just kind of like a fluffy blending brush which I thought would be perfect because I have one that I use every day. I thought it would be nice to have more than one in case I'm changing up colors. The next one I have is the M513 and this one is similar to that one but it's a little bit domed right here. I mean it's a little bit tapered right here. So it's perfect for the crease area if you just want to put something really dark right in there. So that's perfect for that. Next I got the E10 and that one's just a basic eyeshadow brush because I don't have one that's just like basic but like dense in love because usually they're small or big and this one's just like a perfect size and so my lids are a little bit bigger so I got that so the next thing I got of course is an eyeshadow brush as well I just got different variations of blending brushes so this is just a little bit denser than a normal blending brush and it is the 1M433 so it's just a little bit fluffy but not too fluffy so there's that Next I got a brush just to shade the, like, to shade my under eyes, that makes sense, just for blending and shade. So it's E32, it's really dense, perfect for when I want to, like, do a smoky eye and I really want to blend out the bottom. Next, I have a perfect blending brush for anyone's eyes, I would say. This is the M3032. I'm probably butchering the way you're supposed to say it, but it's fine, you get it. So this is just, like, a normal blending brush, it's just oval perfect for the crease especially for someone who has like a not so defined crease since it is domed you can really create one so i love that next i got another brush i already have this is the m431 i love this because it's perfect to make a really intense crease because it is super sharp and super small so i love that super tapered i mean and you could even use it for the bottom as well so there's this one and that's all for my eyeshadow brushes. The next brush I did get was a fan brush just because I don't have one to use on my clients. And of course this one was the black and like rose gold kind of packaging. So it's super cute. This is the R12. And I think fan brushes do a really good job on highlighting if you don't want something too intense. So I picked up this one because I don't have one. So to continue, the next brush I got was a angled uh, contour brush. I love using angled contour brushes for myself. This is the E4. And again, I 
just got this for myself because it last one I had I accidentally tried cleaning it with Windex because I have a brush cleaner next to it. So I just don't want to use it just in case it probably has a lot of chemicals even if I do wash it. So I got another one for myself and that's all for Morphe. So let's go ahead and move to glitter. So the next thing I got was glitter from Lit Cosmetics. I got five, no, I got six glitters for the price of $50, which is amazing. I lied, I totally lied. This is from Eye Candy. There was Lit Cosmetics as well. It had the same thing, the same kind of bundle, but it was $10 more. And my friend from work uses this and hers always looks so good. So I thought might as well just go for this one since it does work amazingly. So I'm gonna show you guys all the colors I got. This also did come with like a little brush and just like Lit Cosmetics does, come with it has glitter glue like this i did use one of these glitters on my eyes today and i did film a tutorial on it you would know if you follow me on snapchat so that will be my next video i'll post it up really soon so stay tuned for that but let me get into the colors i got i literally think glitter on your eyes makes everything look 10 times better i love glitter on anything and everything like <sighs> Okay, so the first color I got was this color right here, and this is the one I do have on my eyes. It's kind of like a, a berry with a little bit of gold specks in it, and it's quite dark, but I love it because it's so fall. The next color I got was this pink tone. It's kind of a rose goldy pink with a little bit of silver specks in it as well, so this is the next one. This is just a true gold. It kind of looks silver in the camera, but it's actually just kind of like a true gold sparkle because who could ever have too much of those? Next, I got this gun metal gray kind of shade. I am obsessed with this. It's a super dark gray, quite blackish kind of gray. Literally a gun metal gray. I love this one. Can't wait to try it. Next, we have this black gold kind of shade. Again, this is another one I'm so obsessed with. I wore it once and I cannot wear it to wear it again. I'll probably do a tutorial with this as well. Love it. And then, of course, I threw in a little bit of a color in there. This is just a nice teal with gold and black specks in it. It's super beautiful as well. Love this. Everything together, including the glue and the brushes I mean the brush came for $50 and they're super easy to use so I'm super excited again I did use one of them on my eyes today and who really goes to eye mats and doesn't buy lashes so I went to Coco lashes and not Coco lashes it was called something else Lady Boss, I'm pretty sure you guys know they have lots of stuff online, but it had Coco Lashes. So the first one I got is this one, and this is really similar to the ones I'm wearing right now by Glam Up Lashes, and this is in the shape, I mean, not name, Foxy. It's really, really nice. I love it. And all the lashes I did get were really dramatic because those are just kind of the lashes I like. So the next one I got was this one called Queen Bee. Again, dramatic, but not as dramatic, so this is super wearable. I love this. Next, we have the one goddess again dramatic love it next i really really like this one i can't wait to wear it this is called stella and i'm obsessed i can't wait to try this it's super kind of flirty and it just kind of like flares out so i'm excited again these were four for like 35 or 36 or something like that so i thought they were worth it so i grabbed a four Another thing I grabbed from Lady Boss as well was this organizer. This is like an organizer that I do have, but it's a little bit longer. As you see, it's a little bit taller. So these are perfect for liquid lipsticks. So I wanted to put like my Kylie and Anastasia liquid lipsticks in these just to display on my vanity. So again, this one was like $20. So yeah, got this. And now we will move on to... What else did I get? Let me think for a second. The next thing I got was from Benefit. So I remember they had 40% off everything. So I had to pick up one of my uh, goof proofs. Again, the brow pencil kind of definer kind of thing I always use because I love this. So why would I not get it when it's 40% off? So I grabbed this one in the number five. And the next place I got something, I don't know if I really wanted to like tell you guys that I didn't get this because it's from Lime Crime. And I know that Lime Crime is a, a company that was not really doing well and it had like a lot of hackers on their website at least that's what i think what happened which like took up money from a lot of people so i never ordered from them after the first time i did which is before like i even knew anything happened but the thing is like i did it like we were buying it there so i knew i didn't really have a problem with it if you are offended by the fact that i bought it from there i apologize if it offends you but I, they had liquid lipsticks that were metallic which i really wanted so i got one in the shade of blondie and this is kind of a white one i can't wear it by myself by itself but i grabbed it so i could put it on top of other colors just normal matte lipsticks to make it metallic and the next one i got was the shade lana i'm super excited for this one it's kind of like a coppery gold and it looks so 
so coppery gold i can't wait to post pictures with both of them so yeah i got these two 20 dollars each okay so the next thing i got we kind of got for free because kat von d was actually there not when we went because we went really early and we didn't really want to stay so long but they were giving free liquid lipsticks in lunch so my friend was like let's just let her figure out liquid lipstick so we got one like mini one in the shade exorcism and then we kind of just stood in line and left i felt really bad but she kind of forced me but i don't regret it because i love this color Okay guys, so that was it. That was the end of my iBads haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to click that thumbs up button again because it would mean so, so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Also, I did vlog my day at iBads, although I didn't make a separate vlog for it just because it was just a little bit footage. But I'll put it up in an upcoming vlog, my November, October vlog. I know my vlogs are kind of late. As soon as I get my footage, I'm going to do my the rest of my summer vlog. But yeah, saying that, that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!